Welcome back, folks, for another installment of We're Gonna Help You Fix It. All right, I'm gonna start off by saying we are checking out this damper on this thing here. Whenever this thing's running, it's not cool in the refrigerator section. So what we do, we hold those two buttons on the left-hand side, go to test three, and this will run the evaporator fan and open and close this damper. I'm putting my hand up here to see if I feel any air coming in and I'm not feeling nothing. Um, I'll show the display one more time. You'll see it's a zero 01, then a zero 02, back to zero 01, then zero 02, and one's saying that the damper is open, and the other one is saying that it's closed. So you see the zero 01 there, zero 02, you'll see zero 01 again, and that's just telling you that it should be open or it should be closed. So whenever it's changing, it should be one or the other. And it's one of those tests that, you know, do it automatically. But um, I'm not feeling anything come through this. I'm not hearing anything either. So we are going to investigate this little damper here and see what's going on with it. Uh, spoiler alert, the problem is the damper. Uh, so we're going to be replacing it as well in this video. And, um, yeah. Yeah, so if you're here... Because your freezer is working and your refrigerator is not working and you have a side-by-side -side whirlpool that looks like this um, This is one of these things I would check out. I'm gonna talk about it um, While I'm getting this thing out of here and everything so I'll have some good information for you um, if you have a same um, Problem or similar problem where it's working good in the freezer, but it's not in the fresh food so, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll probably have some good information for you. But uh, to get to this damper, it's on the left-hand side, and we can't get that out um, on the left-hand side by itself. We have to take off the right, the middle, and the left, or the right, and then the middle, and then, well, we'll take off the right first, <laughs> and then the middle and the left will come off pretty easy. I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to get out this middle screw. And keep in mind, uh, these screws, um, they're three different sizes, so keep track where they go. Um, the short, fat ones on the right, the long, skinny, silver ones on the left, and, um, well, the middle one and the right one, um, they're similar. Um, but, yeah, just keep, keep in mind where those screws go. You're going to need to know where that is at the end of this whenever whenever you get it back together. But anyways, um, a few seconds ago, you guys saw I tried pulling off the left-hand side there, and she wasn't budging. So we got to start taking out these screws. I took out the middle one already um, to show you that thing's not going to move with these other things here. So we're working on the right. You guys did see me get that water filter out. All you do is lift up that little lever, pull the filter out, and it exposes the screw that we're working on now. A um, small little quarter inch screw, so nothing really to it. You could use a flathead too if you had to. Most people got flatheads in their junk drawer somewhere or tool bag, whatever. But um, this guy can be a little tricky to get off. You'll have to work at it a little bit, but if you pull down and out, Eventually, it'll break free just like that. Um, I make it look easy. Well, <laughs> except when we, when we get to the end of this. Putting that part back on, <laughs> it took me too long to put it back on. <laughs> but uh, anyways, got the right piece off, and you see the left in the middle come off easy. And boom, this is our damper. Uh, that whole styrofoam piece. And what a damper is, guys, it's a door that opens and closes and whenever it's open it lets that cool air in to the fresh food side and then whenever it closes it closes off that cool air so if it's cold enough in the refrigerator section um, it's gonna close it and if it's you know gets cold or like hey I'm good I don't need to be any colder but it needs to work on the freezer it'll close it so um, that's pretty much what this thing does. The older fridges didn't have it, but you guys saw me take off that uh, wire connection there, and boom, she's out. Uh, not much to it. All right, uh, I am grabbing, or 
I'm actually checking it out right now behind the camera, seeing what's going on with it. And then um, I'll show you guys a little bit what I see. But the door on this damper, it it's out of whack. All right, here it is. And you'll see, well, whenever I show you the new one, you'll see the difference. But that black piece is supposed to be on that crease on the right-hand side there. And you can see that thing is mangled on the inside of it. That little white quarter or part of a quarter looks like a little half moon. That's the actual motor piece that actually moves. And uh, things are just missing on the inside of this. Um, so we went ahead and got another one for it. And here in a minute... I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like. And um, another thing, while we're waiting on me to bring this in front of me here, there's some things that, other things that can cause your fresh food section to, um, you know, quit cooling, but your freezer's okay. And inside this damper, there can get some ice built up. And that can happen by leaving your door open. Now, if you leave your door open, um, you're going to, pull more warm air in and when you pour more warm air into cooler air um, it condensates and vice versa too so just picture your so you get a glass of ice water um, and you set it out room temperature it'll condensate inside these refrigerators it, do, it does the same thing so if that door's open and warm air is exposed to this temperature here um, it's going to condensate and whenever that happens up in that uh, section yeah pretty much in this area that i'm showing you right now ice can get caught in there but that's what a damper supposed to look like in this damper here guys um, it is damaged uh, you'll see the styrofoam um, there's some missing pieces of it and that's why whenever you get these things, especially if you're a technician like me, you want to check the the parts and make sure they're good. I didn't open this box until I, I got there today, and this is one of these things that drive me crazy. But that's what it's supposed to look like, and there's no way you can get that damper out and put it in the new one. So um, I had to get the customer another one, um, put it in here. I actually left it in here um, just so sh her fresh food section would work. So she had all her food at a family member's house. So I at least got it running for her. And I got another one to put in. So, um, you know, everything's good to go. She got the right part that she paid for. But, um, yeah, you're going to see me just finish putting this thing in. And you saw me connected the harness there. And this thing will fall down if you let go of it. <laughs> but, um you got to be careful. Maybe you can get it up there and hold it in spot for you while you get the other pieces here. Um, what I would recommend, um, I wouldn't do what I do in this video. I'm just thinking of some other ideas because you'll see how much trouble I have getting that last piece in. These first two, no trouble whatsoever. Um, but the one on the right, it probably took me 20 minutes to get that sucker back into place. Um, but... Yeah, I would keep the screws off if you can. I mean, if you have to, you can put the screws in there if uh, they they keep falling out. But uh, or at least the screw on the left hand side, and keep the one in the middle out, so you at least have um, some play to get that right one back in there. So that's my recommendation for you. And if you want to do it the way I do it, that's fine. Um, you just may run into trouble like I did. Um, I replace this guy maybe twice a year. So <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in, I don't know, eight months or more. It's been quite some time. Um, but you remember what I was telling you about these screws here. All right. You got the short fat one on the right. That's the one that goes on the right. And then, you know, the gold one in the middle with the bigger washer well it's not a washer but it has a bigger head that you know mimics a washer that one goes in the middle and then the long nickel plated one um goes on the left so three different sizes just remember where they go and if you have to you can reference this video if you need to but um yeah i'm gonna put this middle screw in but i would try and hold off if you can so you can get 
this uh, right trim piece in a little bit easier. Um, yeah, you'll see. I'll probably just be talking about something else when I'm doing it, but um, it took me a while to get it back together. But, I mean, once you get this thing back together at the end, we will do that test we did at the beginning of the video to make sure it's working. Um, you know, if you run into this and you do this test and you are feeling air come through and then stop and then air comes through again, uh, you know your damper's working correctly and you got something else going on. But um, anyways, back to it. We got those two screws in, the one on the left and the one in the middle. And we're going to start working on this panel on the right side here. And I'm actually going to fast forward it a little bit so you guys ain't, you know, just dread like, come on, just get it in already. I'm just going to show you, um, there's a little tab and a hole that that little guy goes in. That guy right there. Uh, you pretty much just push that through and you try and wiggle it into place. And this is where I was telling you, if you would um, leave that middle screw loose, um, it may help you to actually get this guy in here but this part took me way too long <laughs> to get it back in um, like getting it off you saw took no trouble took maybe five ten seconds maybe I'm here investigating trying to see <laughs> um, why this thing is it isn't going in properly and didn't see anything out of the ordinary but um, eventually I find out in the back uh, where my left thumb was just then that um, it's hanging up on the top and I get a screwdriver a Phillips, small little Phillips screwdriver and I pry it over somehow I mean it just wasn't seating in there correctly and um, I will actually slow the video whenever I figure that out uh, but to be honest this is probably the hardest part of the video is trying to get this panel back in and I mean if you really wanted to I guess you can keep it looking like that um, may with dealing with another person's uh, property I like to leave it the way I found it so um, even though this thing gave me a trouble I still wanted to make sure that it was put together properly but uh, yeah this is where I realized oh snap that thing's not uh, flush so boom got me a screwdriver I'm going to pry it over a little bit, and then you'll see, eventually, whenever I get it anyways, that it falls right into place. And when it falls right into place, um, put the screw back in. You may have saw me put it in already. I was trying to see, like, hey, is this thing going to put it back in the right spot? And you guys may have seen, um, it popped right back into place, and everything's nice and clean and mostly straight but um, it's better than it was for sure like it was completely obvious uh, standing where I am now um, that it looks a heck of a lot better <laughs> with it all the way in than partially in but um, anyways um, this panel's in got that screw tightened up everything's nice and straight and that's the part I had trouble that part down in there um, if you have that issue maybe a screwdriver will help you out too um, if you do it the way I did it um, let me know in the comments below if you guys do try it without putting the middle screw in and see if it is a little bit easier if it is a little bit easier let me know and if so I will do that next time myself um, but this is pretty much it um, on the display I am getting back in the diagnostics, holding those two left-hand buttons and going to test three, like at the beginning. And I'm going to show you with my hand, whenever it's open and whenever it's closed. Um, I decided to do that here in a second. <laughs> it's open, air's coming through, and just a few seconds later, it is closed. 
and then a few seconds later it opens back up uh, so that's what the damper is supposed to do guys it's supposed to open it's supposed to close during this test if your damper does not do that um, get in there see if there's some damage or anything like that or some ice built up if there is any ice built up get rid of it and uh, make sure that doors close if, if the ice comes back you'll probably need a damper as well but that's pretty much it for this one folks um hope this helped you guys out if it does give me a like subscribe and i appreciate y'all watching